Hey, what's up guys? It's Jenna B and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be all about motivation and how I stay motivated um, when losing weight or trying to lose weight. Um, and I always get this question because I feel like a lot of people just lack motivation and they want to find ways to like pick up their motivation and like be motivated enough to go to the gym all the time and eat right. And so uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I'm always posting that I'm in the gym. So I always get questions on like, hey, how do you stay motivated? So. One way that I stay motivated is by not wanting to go back to how I used to look. So if you've never seen one of my videos before, um, hi, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. You should definitely subscribe. But I was 240 pounds and I lost 100 pounds and um, I just don't want to go back to how I look. So I have pictures, which I'll insert somewhere on the screen, um, of how I used to look and that is the biggest motivation for me is just not wanting to go back to that place of being that big um i'm five six so 240 pounds on a five six frame is a lot of weight to carry and how embarrassing would that be like i lost 100 pounds and then i gained back like 80 pounds or 100 pounds or 120 pounds like that would be very embarrassing so i really think about like how i've improved my health and i'm like much more healthier than i was back then and I definitely don't want to go back there. I don't want to like increase the risk of me having like high blood pressure or diabetes and stuff like that. Um, so I'm that definitely motivates me to eat healthy and go to the gym all the time. Also, if you want to know my gym schedule, I go to the gym twice a day, Monday through Friday, and then on the weekends I go once. And the reason why my workouts are so intense right now is because one, I'm trying this Michael B. Jordan workout. Thing, which I'm going to um, do a whole video series on that where basically I follow Michael B. Jordan's like workout schedule regimen so if I'm at work and he posted he's at the gym I obviously can't go to the gym but if I'm at home and he posted he goes to the gym I will go to the gym too um, it's a whole thing and I'm gonna do a video series on it to like me transforming my body using Michael B. Jordan's routine workout like you know whatever that's gonna be coming soon but anyways <laughs> what was I even saying the thought about Michael B. Jordan just got me all off track. He's so fine. Yeah, so that's my workout schedule. Um, sometimes I work out three times a day if I'm feeling up to it. Um, or if Michael B. Jordan works out three times a day. Um, but anyway, the reason why my schedule is so intense right now is because I'm really trying to get the body that I want so that I can just maintain. And eventually when I get the body that I want, and when I say that, there's not a particular weight that I'm trying to get to, it's a particular look that I'm trying to get to. So when I look at my body and I'm like, yes, my stomach is flat, we're good, I'm fine, then I'll just go to maintaining and I'll probably work out like four times a week um, but right now because I'm really trying to get to that point before summer I'm really just trying to step on it another way to help stay motivated when trying to lose weight is to set small goals so what I mean by set small goals is yes you want to have like your bigger overall goal but you also want to have little goals that you can reach that are attainable um, to reach quicker than your big main goal so what I mean by that is when I first started losing weight my first initial goals were I wanted to lose 10 pounds and I wanted to be able to run more than a block so the first goal that I hit was to be able to run more than a block um, after probably like a week of running um, or like walking so basically what I would do is I would run until I couldn't run anymore and I would start walking um, and I could literally only run a block without stopping um, and so my like I said my first few goals was I want to be able to run without stopping for more than a block and so then I hit the the goal where I was able to run two blocks without stopping and then after that I was like okay well now that I can run two blocks without stopping I want to be able to run five blocks without stopping so then eventually I was able to run five blocks without stopping and so on and so forth and then as far as the weight I was like okay I want to lose 10 pounds and then after I lost the 10 pounds I was like okay now I want to lose five more so then after I lost five more pounds and that's just a way to keep yourself going because I feel like if you set your goal too big and like for me, I did do that. I was like, you know, I want to be able to run a mile. I wasn't able to run a mile and I wanted to quit because I was just so defeated. I felt defeated. Um, but when I started to set my goals a little smaller and I was able to hit and achieve those goals, it made me feel like I was actually doing something, which I was. When you set your goals too big, it's easier for you to get discouraged. Um, so you definitely want to set smaller goals, goals that you know you'll be able to achieve 
um, in a shorter amount of time than like your big overall goals. So yes, you can have those big goals, but also have the smaller ones that you can accomplish within that. Um, and so you can write it on a piece of paper and tape it to the wall. If you have a whiteboard, you could write them on your whiteboard. Um, you could write it on the notes pads of your phone, notepads, the notepad of your phone. Um, you know, just so you, it's like a reminder for you. Something else to stay motivated is to pick a weight loss like not program but just like a lifestyle that is achievable for you something that you can actually do um for me um when i first started it was unrealistic for me to say i'm gonna work out every day twice a day um because that's just not something that's attainable at that point in time or was attainable for me at that point in time so same like kind of goes with the setting goals but just literally Pick something that's right for you. Don't do a low carb diet because that's what I did to lose 100 pounds. That may not be right for you. And like I said, when you get discouraged, it makes you want to quit. So you definitely want to do something that's not going to make you want to quit. That's going to make you feel like you can do it. So like low carb worked for me. It may not work for you. You may need carbs. So you may need to do something like just eating clean. Where you just have brown rice and like wheat bread or sweet potatoes. Um, things like that. Um, and you can still lose weight. By eating that just because you're not doing low carb doesn't mean you can't you know lose weight just because you're not a vegan um, doesn't mean that you can't lose weight I know there's like a high carb low fat diet or something um, you don't have to do that do what works for you like you can watch videos all day long on how somebody else lost weight but at the end of the day if it's not working for your body it's not working for you it's something that you can't do that's not attainable with you and your lifestyle it's not gonna work and you're never gonna lose weight I feel like that's why people don't lose weight is because they're so focused on how somebody else lost weight that they lose sight of like them and what will work for them so like for a while I was watching other people lose weight and I'm like wow they're losing all this weight like being a vegetarian and I tried and it just wasn't something that was right for me in my lifestyle at that point in time I actually do want to try going vegetarian not vegan I can't I don't think I could do that um, later um, but I have to be at a point where I'm like completely satisfied with my body and maintaining I feel like to be able to successfully do that without like gaining weight and whatever um, but that's just how I feel like for my body. But literally, you have to do what works for you and your body. I would see girls. I had a friend who lost a bunch of weight because she turned into a vegetarian. And, like, I tried to do that and I couldn't do it and I was discouraged. Um, and it just wasn't right for me and my lifestyle. Um, and so I focused so much time on what somebody else was doing that I was wasting time not focusing on myself. So you want to research. Like, research everything, every diet, try them out. Um, see what works for you. Same with the workouts. Um, you see girls on YouTube lifting huge weights, lifting heavy, and they're getting their bodies together. That may not work for you. You might have to start out small. You know, you might have to do more cardio in the beginning than lifting weights. Um, don't focus on somebody else's journey so much so that you lose yourself in their journey. Start your own journey. Try different things out. You'll find something that works for you eventually. I'm mean, just all about like trial and error. Do you think that like me? Like, I just started off with low carb and lost all the weight. No, it took me trying out different things to find what was right for me. Um, you could watch all these girls, like I said, on YouTube and look at them on Instagram. But you can't make what worked for them work for you. So, keep that in mind. <laughs> Another way that I stay motivated is literally I have a folder in my albums, like on my phone, and it's motivation pictures. So, I'll be on Instagram, Twitter, social media, and I'll see... Um, a girl and she'll have like the body that I'm like oh my gosh she has such a nice body like I would love to like you know have my body look like that and I mean it's unrealistic to have your body look exactly like a certain somebody and a little unhealthy to like want that exact body like I gotta have it um but it's like a nice like it keeps me motivated so I'll look and be like if I need motivation I'll go to that folder and look and be like oh like I can really get to this point if I just put in the work and eat right so like that's what I do um and I also have like outfit inspiration in that folder as well so if I see a girl who has a cute outfit on I'll screenshot it and like put it in that folder that I like and like try to recreate that but really there are some outfits that I cannot recreate yet because I just don't have the body type for it and I mean really if you're comfortable with your body you could dress however you want to like don't let anyone tell you that you can't wear a certain thing because you're a little bit bigger than other people that doesn't matter but for me my confidence level is not anywhere close to that um so I feel like I you know it's just a look that I'm going for, so that's more of what it is. Um, but like I said, if you're comfortable 
do what you want to do um but when i was 240 pounds i literally could not wear a crop top like that was just not in the plans for me i was embarrassed i didn't want my stomach hanging out and yeah i could have worn a crop top but really do i really want to go in public with my belly hanging out no and like that's what i mean by like outfit inspiration so i'm like oh that's a cute outfit i'll save it and when i'm working out in the gym i'll just think about me being able to wear that cute outfit that i want something else that keeps me motivated is literally just all the health aspects of being overweight like your health really like yeah you want to look good but you also want to look good on the inside too like you want to be healthy on the inside so like that's what I think about I don't want high blood pressure I don't want diabetes or anything like that so really eating right and working out like that keeps me motivated like I don't want to be you know obese I don't want to have high blood pressure I don't want to you know that's something that like keeps me motivated also because high blood pressure and like stuff like that does run in my family so Something else that keeps me motivated, it's not the best, but whatever, all the guys who have dubbed me, and when I say dubbed me, I mean like curved me, or like, you know, thought that they found somebody better, and here's the thing, like with me, I am the sweetest, nicest, caring, genuine person ever, like my heart is like pure gold, um, so like, I'll say like that, like if I say like someone doesn't... <laughs> How do I explain this without sounding cocky? If I say like, oh, she doesn't have anything on me, I say that not about looks. Like, I mean like about my heart and how deeply I care for people. I pray like for them, like just unmatched. Um, <laughs> but in addition to that, I also want to look good. Like I really, it just motivates, like it's motivation. Like I want them to come to my Instagram page or something and just be like, wow. And I'm like, wow, yeah, you could have had that, but now look. And I mean, that sounds bad, but really, we're women. And some of you guys may not have that. You may not have that, like, oh, I want him to come back to my page and be like, ugh, I messed up. But I do. And I'm going to be real about it. That motivates me. Um, it really motivates me, like, to be looking good and to be doing good in life. Like, and then on top of my heart of gold, like yeah <laughs> another way that i stay motivated is to literally buy clothes that are too small and i don't mean go out and buy a whole wardrobe that's too small i'll have a goal outfit um and i'll buy it and then like ever so often i'll try it on so probably every like at the end of every week i'll try on the goal outfit and see like how it fits um and eventually it'll totally fit so i did that when i first started trying to lose weight and um once i finally fit into the goal outfit like that was super like exciting but basically it serves as motivation because each week you're losing more and more inches and in weight and like the more you can like pull the pants up or like the better it starts to fit you really get motivated with that like you see that and you just want to keep going harder and harder so that like pretty soon you'll be able to fit the outfit and then after that you'll be able to give it away because it'll be too big like that's something that I really like to do that motivates me so I don't usually like to buy like stretchy things like a dress that will stretch to your body um, because you know you really can't I mean you'll see it if you take pictures and like compare the pictures but like putting it on you'll be able to put it on and be like okay like it fits so I tend to stick with things like jeans or jean shorts and like a top um, that doesn't like have too much stretch in it because then you really see the difference um, so the golf outfit that I had before when I was like 200 pounds ish um, were a pair of jean shorts and a crop top and the jean shorts would not go up past like my thighs and eventually I fit the shorts um, and I have the shorts now but they're too big so I'm going to end up like giving them away um, but that was something that motivated me all the time was every week when I would try it on and see that like it was getting closer and closer to being able to like get over my hips the most amazing feeling and then when you finally do fit that goal outfit you feel amazing and then what I also did was take a picture every time I tried on the goal outfit so then like at the end um, you know you have the transition pictures and unfortunately I don't have those pictures anymore I literally don't know what happened to them but it's a good like indicator of how much weight you lost and how far you've come so every time like you try on the outfit take a picture um, and then you'll be able to see like from the beginning when you couldn't fit the outfit to the end where you can now fit this outfit and it's really great. Something else that you might want to try is joining different Facebook groups that like help motivate each other. Like each other. Um, a lot of people say I don't have motivation at home, like you know, blah blah blah. 
find a online group where they're genuinely motivating people. I am trying to start my online group right now. I have the link down below in the description box. It's a Facebook group. I just have to like dedicate the time to like go on there and like speak to everyone and say hi and like get the group started because as of right now like nobody has said anything. Um, so I just really need to like take a day to like go in there and just like get it started because I want that to be a place where you can go and find motivation with other people and other girls who are going through say, the same thing that you're going through. Other guys that are going through the same thing that you're going through. And just help each other like put recipe videos on there. Like talk about the success that we're having even the failures you know to help pick each other back up like if you're going to be vegan um, and going on a weight loss journey there's groups for that if you're gonna be a vegetarian and going on a weight loss journey there's groups for that if you want to be low carb there's groups for that like there's just you know there's people out there who are going through the same thing that you're going through who are looking for support as well have realistic expectations like don't like have this unrealistic like I'm gonna look like a Victoria's Secret model in a month type of vision start off small you know, you got this. You got it, girl. You can look like a Victoria's Secret model later on, but that's not going to happen in two months, you know? So start off small, you know, have a little vision in mind, but don't, like, set the bar too high to where you can't even jump over it. Like, you know, you know? <laughs> the last thing I'm going to talk about to motivate you is a fitness tracker, and this is mine. This is a Fitbit, and I actually don't have it on, so I went all day walking around and stuff. Um, and I didn't have it on. After the gym this morning, I took it off to take a shower and <laughs> I forgot to put it back on. Um, so right now I'm at 7,500 steps. Um, I would have been at more, but you know, having this motivates me because sometimes it'll buzz when I haven't like gotten up in a while and I've just been sitting at a standstill and it'll be like, hey, you want to go on a stroll? And that's motivation because I'm like, okay, you're right. I've been sitting here on my computer all day. Time to get up. Um, <laughs> but it definitely keeps me motivated and it also keeps me motivated because it has an app where it shows you like what you've done for the day so like every day it'll update itself and so I like to try to beat what I did the previous day so yesterday I think I burned like 3200 calories and like today I want to burn more than that you know um, so let me show you yesterday yeah so if it'll yesterday and I kind of want to beat that today so like I need to go to the gym after I'm done filming and try to get my you know calories burned more calories burned and stuff um, so this definitely helps keep me motivated whoa the color got all weird um, but that definitely helps keep me motivated so I hope you guys enjoyed this video my camera slashing that I've run out of time so don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter snapchat all that stuff ask me whatever questions you want to in my DMs so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other kind of videos you want to see down below in the description box I mean the comment box Jennifer girl you trying to talk too fast what's going on anyways I'm wearing a wig by the way I'm not a wig expert, so if you see lace or whatever, my bad. Um, anyways, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you love me, and I'll talk to you guys later.